Hi and welcome to The Honest Channel. I'm Claire Johnston, a journalist with an interest in how to age well and how to look and feel good for as long as we can. And as someone with naturally dark, thicker hair, I've got to say that having dark hair on my legs in particular has got me down over the years. And I found that the constant shaving or epilating or waxing was just a misery. And one of the best things I've invested in from a beauty and grooming perspective is an IPL device. IPL standing for Intense Pulse Light. Now, the one I bought a few years back and reviewed on this channel was a Philips Lumia Advanced IPL device, which definitely thinned the unwanted hair on my legs, underarms, and made it way more manageable. Then I tried the Tria laser device and found it really got to work on those more stubborn, harder to shift hairs that had been left behind. I reviewed that device here, and while I found it really effective, because it has a smaller head, you needed to be a pretty patient type of person if you're gonna treat larger areas with it. So that one I felt was best used for face, bikini and underarms. So after all that, I've just been left with some really stubborn hairs around my knees and I had also yet to treat my arms. So when the makers of this top selling You Like IPL device asked if I'd like to try it out, I thought it would be interesting to measure it against the other IPL and laser devices that I've tried to see how well it worked on getting rid of my arm hair and the ultimate test, those hairs on my knees. And today I'm sharing my verdict on the you like and revealing whether I liked it or not and how it compares with the other devices I've tried. Well, I'm gonna start with a great big spoiler and that's to say I have actually been really impressed with this device, so I'll explain why. I think having tried two different devices previously and add to that the no-no hair remover too, I was acutely aware of the pros and cons of the different forms of hair removal. And what I've found with the You Like is that it harnesses the best of the technology and addresses some of the previous pitfalls I've experienced. So with the Philips model, for instance, it was prone to overheating and cutting out after about a, a leg and a half, and then I would have to rest it and cool it for 10 minutes or more before I could start using it again. And the Philips model did thin my hair, but I was still left with about 20 to 30% of it. And you also needed to keep using it pretty regularly to maintain the results. That changed when I used the Tria laser because I found it more permanently removed the hair. So I now have next to no hair under my arms and my bikini line, for instance, but it's tiny head meant that it takes ages to use. And with both of those devices, if you had any hair left at all on the surface of your skin that you'd missed while shaving, it could be really hot and nippy when you were using the devices. A reminder that both laser and IPL use light, which is absorbed by the melanin or pigment in our hair and transported to the follicle to slow and prevent regrowth by sending controlled pulses of energy to the root, weakening it supposedly without damaging the surrounding tissue or skin. So IPL hair removal also targets the hair pigment but uses a broader spectrum of light, whereas laser uses a single spectrum. And that means IPL energy is not as targeted and is therefore slightly weaker. However, the u -like design improves the strength and effectiveness of that targeting. And that's because it has a flat head rather than a concave one. So you're not losing energy between the lamp and the skin, which increases its effectiveness. It also makes it easier to keep clean. Add to that the fact it has an effective cooling system, it means that firstly the treatment is completely comfortable, even, I found it, on the highest intensity setting. And I also haven't experienced any overheating to date. So along with how effective it is, those two were big wins for me. And before trying it, I also read a lot of customer reviews um, on the ULike from people saying that after just a few sessions, they'd begun to see a big difference with their hair regrowth. Some of them saying it hadn't grown back for over a period of 12 months or even longer. And I've got to say, having used it on my arms just five times over four weeks, I have not had to shave my arms since the third time of using it. So this is my arm hair six weeks ago, and this is it today, around three weeks since I last shaved. But what I'm particularly pleased about is that I also used it on my knees to see if it would shift some of the, the stubborn hairs that were left there. And in just three uses on my knee, those hairs have all but gone. There's just a couple hanging around. 
Now my arm hair is obviously considerably thinner than my leg hair was and the hair on my knees having been treated with both IPL and laser in the past was also much weaker. So I'm not saying you should expect your hair to disappear after just a few uses if you've never used anything like this before but you should start seeing a big difference pretty quickly. It's also much faster to use than the other devices because there's less of a pause between flashes so you can just quickly keep moving. The model I have is the green Ulike Sapphire Air Plus, which is priced at around $359 in the US or £300. There's a newer model called the Sapphire Air 3, which costs about £20 or dollars more and is supposed to work even more quickly, with the maker saying you should see results in just three weeks compared with an average of four. And I guess for that price difference, you don't have much to lose, but I haven't tried the newer models, so I can't vouch for it. Both these Ulite devices are sold on the Current Body website, and I have a 15% discount code for that site. So that should help a little bit if you're interested in taking a look at it, and I'll include the code and link in the video description for you. The Sapphire Air Plus plugs in so you don't have to charge it up. It's got a nice long cable and it comes beautifully presented in a lovely box that includes protective glasses and a little case. And um, you use them, of course, during treatments to protect your eyes. But overall, it's just a very well-designed product that addresses the pitfalls of the other hair removal devices I've tried. To use it, you switch it on at the side to select your level. I used it on level five on my knees and arms, but the guide suggests a more gentle approach using level one on face hair, level two on your bikini line, three on armpits, four on arms and five on knees. To use the device, you hold the control button down and then just start moving it over the area you want to treat, waiting for it to flash and then moving on. Now you're meant to shave your hair before use, as I did with both the Philips and Tria models, because you don't want to have hair sitting on top of the skin, absorbing the energy there. You want it to be picked up by the hair just sitting under the skin, so you're getting maximum energy to the follicle. And the advice is to use it three times a week in the first month, which is a lot, and that was maybe the, the only slightly off-putting thing when I first read that. And then the makers suggest using it twice a week for the next month or so until you get to your desired result. As I said, in my case, I've had very quick results and I'll just have to play it by ear now as to how much I have to use it going forward to maintain them. The bad news is that as with most IPL and laser devices, it doesn't work with all skin and hair types and you can find a visual guide on the Ulite website. I will link to that below as well. It's deemed unsafe for the darkest skin tones and ineffective for white, very light or red hair. Now I've poured over the reviews on Amazon as well, which I think give you more of an independent view of customer experience when it comes to online reviews. And the broad consensus was that it works well. It took some longer than others to get a result and it will of course vary from person to person. For value, it's at the pricier but around average end of the spectrum, kind of comparable to the Tria laser, uh, but it has the advantage of being quicker to use and it's pain-free because of the built-in cooler. I bought my Philips Lumia IPL device on offer um, on Amazon for £200, which was a great deal at the time because that was a couple of years back and it was typically priced at around £250 then. Now I've noticed Philips have an advanced model out called the IPL 9000 series and it appears to be highly rated on Amazon, but it's priced for nearly £500, so it's considerably more than the Ulike, which gives you a feel for value for money. So overall, I like the Ulike. It's China's best-selling hair removal device and it is well-made and in my view, good value for money because it works. Have you tried the you like? If so, do share your experience in the comments so we can get a range of views. Or would you recommend another IPL or laser device? As always, I love to hear your thoughts. And if you found this video helpful, then by giving it a thumbs up, you help it reach more viewers. That's all from me for now. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.